and welcome, welcome. Thank you to everybody for tuning in for tonight's Master's Challenge. I am Tios, and joined by my co-caster Bowser, who is a who is a previous player in this event, and tonight's and tonight's master being none other than Carbon Fire. Hello, hello. Hey, Tios. Hey, Bowser. Thank you so much for joining. And you know what? Tonight we're gonna avoid the preamble, and we're just gonna dive right in right into it. So, the first player that is going to be grabbed will be Bacon Lord, as he was the first to play. So, Bacon Lord, if you can let me know if that's your in-game name, I will get you pulled into the lobby. And on deck, we have Ultimate Ghost. So, Bacon Lord, if you can just... Uh, I want to say, actually, I think your in-game name is just Bacon Lord. Alrighty. Bacon Lord, I assume you know the format, so if you want to come in, if you want to say the weight class, and we can get this right started. For those who are not familiar with the event, you join the queue in chat, and your goal is to get drawn in order to fight the in, in order to fight Carbon Fire tonight. As you come in, you choose the weight class, and if you win, you get a single mech of your choice. If you don't win, you get you, you you get 500 MC as sort of a thanks for playing. And we have Bacon Lord in. Bacon Lord has selected medium X. Alrighty, first match of the night. Bacon Lord's in a 45 tonner. All right, what forty-five tons. What do you predict, Bows? Oh no, oh no, fifty-five. My my bad. I'm thinking like Vapor Eagle, prob probably. That's what I would expect. I think the Vapor Eagle is a pretty safe bet. Uh, a lot of people seem to like the rival for some reason. Sound like we might see that. Okay, yeah, like a a rival with 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 either the Peeps or UX. I feel like a two Peep rib. Rival will be pretty weak in an isolated 1v1 scenario, though. So two peeps with some with with some backup guns. Of course, some of the other options in the 55 ton bracket are Black Lantern, Stormcrow, which are which are also very strong picks. Right, I'll do 55 as well. Alrighty, let's get to it. And for those of you who are joining ju just now getting in, one, welcome, 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 two, tonight you get a goal to fight one of the best players MWO Comp currently has to offer, and if you win, you get a free mech of your choice. So if you want to come in, get a, get a little of that uh, David v, v Goliath action, then feel free to come on in and shoot your shot. We have Carbon Fire bringing a vapor eagle 2 already so the so the daca variant and bringing quad ac5s on it that is a massive build yeah that is a lot of that is a lot of dps to bring to to bring to the table and i think bacon lord's going to be hard pressed to beat uh to beat that oh bacon lord bringing his own surprises though Is already soft. He's already in soft CT. He's going for carbon fire's uh, gun side. Carbon fire's gun side is open. Bacon. Uh, never mind. However, Bacon Lord is open CT. Both targets are open. And ooh, carbon fire gets a shot in the head, and Bacon Lord goes down. It's very close. Oh yeah, super. It's good. It's a superior DPS. The Vigo coming through there. Yep. Uh, I think I think in hindsight, Bacon Lord should have tried to close a little more, seeing as his three AC fives were not enough against the four. But he but he did also have two SRM fours to go in as well. So I think if he closed with the uh, SRM fours, that that would have definitely given him the 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 DPS advantage. For sure. Look at his damage, though the cycle rate on those were much oh, yeah. faster on the shadow. 
if yeah, if if memory serves, Shadowhawk has a pretty hefty, uh, pretty hefty uh, uh, cooldown quirk as well. So yeah, if he got those SRMs off sooner, I would have been toast. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, next is Ultimate Ghost, and on deck we have <coughs> Yoromingunder of Mech Enjoyers. Alrighty, uh, Carbon, I know I I know Yorum is in is in the same unit as you. However, I do have to request that you that that you give him a fair fight. I will. Alrighty. Uh, also, does anybody else just hate it when you're in a when 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 you're in a one when you're in a one v one and you get that single that single shot in the head and it's not enough for the kill and you and you and you can't follow up on it so then it's just essentially damage going going to waste. Am I the only one who uh, who who has that happen pretty often? Happens all the time. Ultimate Ghost, what weight class do you prefer? Ultimate Ghost chooses heavy mechs already. Does he? Okay. Ghost has been talking up having a surprise for me, so we'll see what that is. Heavies are fun. There's the most variety. Uh, Ultimate Ghost, te uh, te technically is the challenger you lock first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Ghost. Nice try. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, heavies. Uh, I feel like heavies and mediums have the most variety. Uh, actually, mediums last time showed a few callouts that were that were that were definitely leagues above the rest. Like, say, I want to say Vapor Eagle and Viper were top. Uh, assaults, obviously, Annihilators were the big were the were the biggest among them all, but. Yeah, heavy mechs definitely have a good variety. Yeah. Uh, one thing I will say also for for uh, for everyone in chat is that the first ten picks will be in order of those who queued up first, uh, as sort of a thanks for for showing up early, and then after that. I will be picking. At, I will be doing a pick at random, so the time you join will not have an impact. Are there any mechs that have head armor quirks? As sort of a tangent to the thing I said before. There's ones that got accidentally unquirked. A uh, crusader head. Crusader yeah. has less head structure from memory serves. Uh, yeah. I swear there's a mech. Direwolf. Uh, that's it. Direwolf C has plus six head armor. Does that? Yeah. Mm hmm. Actually, if you tally up the skills and all of the uh, and the uh, and the re and the recent skill tree change as well, does that mean that the direwolf head armor, if you have max health, does that mean it can take dual uh, heavy goss if you have max survivability and max armor? Not quite. It should be like forty-five or forty-six total HP. Damn. Because because I mean it, it actually would be pretty cool if it was if it could take dual dual heavy goss, but that would be pretty big. Sixty five. Sixty five tons. Sixty five tons. Yeah. Ah, but uh, Direwolf saying twenty one armor and twenty and twenty structure is your average mech. However, the Dire Wolf, before skills, has 24 head armor because it's got plus 6. 48 health with skills. Yep, uh, about, uh, Bowser was around the money for that. Alright, 65 tons and 70. A lot of good 65 toner picks. You got, let's see, if I sort by tonnage. Jaegers, Roughnecks, and Catapults would be my go-to picks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, the 
also the crusader as well we saw a fair amount of uh 14 small pulse crew crusaders brought last oh. time when we had when 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 we had data and a few and a few linebackers as well actually the crusader is very strong yeah uh it's it is a bit of a newer mech, so I don't have it like just at just as my go-to. All of the all the information available. Carbon Fire bringing the Platinum Grasshopper 5P, going with the style points with just three large pulse and five ER meds. Ultimate Ghost. Uh, all right then. <laughs> Something weird, I know it. This is more of a speak of the devil, and he and he and and he shall appear scenario. Great. Yeah. Uh, yep. Ultimate Ghost running the very common snub small build. Uh, snubs after they got buffed have been a force to be a force to be reckoned with across MWO comp as a, uh, across MWO as a whole, and everybody can see why. Carbon Fire already opened CT. Mm, Ultimate Ghost yeah. bringing him down quick with the snub small la small laser crusader. That's just too much DPS. Good one, Ghost. Yeah, definitely one of the strongest mechs on game right, right, right now, in my uh, opinion. Yeah, not even close on the damage. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, Ultimate Ghost, if you want to put in a Twitch chat which mech you want, you have until the end of the stream to decide. Yeah, Bows. I don't know about you, but I feel like the uh, I feel like the Crusader is probably one of the strongest picks right uh, right now as far as the heavy knight class. I think it's beatable. Um, it is definitely one of the strongest, but it's not unbeatable in my opinion. And next we have Yormungundr. All right, Yorm. Yormungundr, are you there? Uh, Ultimate Ghost, as you are the winner. You get to pick any mech of your choice, barring Gold, Phoenix, Sarahs, and Founders. So pretty much the rule of thumb is, if it can be bought in game or on the online store, then you can then you can grab it. Uh, yeah. So no Gold, Founders, or Phoenix. The only other one is Sarah's Jenner. Uh, alrighty, Jordan Gunder, I will get you pulled in. And on deck we have. Call me Gil. Yes, uh, uh, loyal, uh, loyalty mechs are allowed. Uh, NCIX Centurion. Bowser, do you, oh. do you remember what that mech is? Yeah, I have it. I do have it. it. It's a thing. Let me pull it up. Yeah. Yep. You had to order something from NCIX, the computer store in Vancouver. That's right. The promo they, they, gave, yeah. they gave it away during an event as well. That's, that's right, what I got. Oh, it. okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, let me just check the list. Uh, yes, uh, NCIX Centurion A is allowed. Oh, cool. Talk about a blast from the past. I totally forgot that mech was a thing, and I, I think I have it. I actually have that mech. I don't know. It's an heirloom mech now. Yeah. NCIX went under. They don't exist. I look up NCIX and Chrome asks me if I <laughs> wanted to look up NCIS the show. Yeah. You remember uh, Linus Tech Tips? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. where he started. Oh. He started the YouTube channel. Yep. Yeah. I remember that. Yes, uh, NCIX uh, officially went defunct December 1st, 2017. Yeah. Okay. Alright, 100. Huh? Jorgen has asked for a salt mix already. Uh oh, Yor. It's gonna be Annie's, isn't it? It's like a mean baby with SRMs. Uh, that mech was once the king of 
of of Solaris Div Two. I will. I would not doubt that mech. <laughs> Bacon Lord, you cannot rejoin Q unless everybody gets through it. Sorry. Uh, ooh, Carbon Fire, bringing the Annihilator two-way. Uh, how many? How many Siebel Boost Mix do you plan on bringing tonight? All of them. Alrighty. I wasn't that planning on not bringing one. <laughs> uh, I get extra points, right, from this tournament. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. You know, the, uh, all those private lobby uh, uh, C bills are very important. Uh, we actually have an almost perfect um, uh, mirror match going on here. Are you LFE? Uh, what's it to you? <laughs> it's almost like German, I do this too much. You are. So I was asking because I knew Yorm was a LFE and he <laughs> started to get really hot after that. He, he took a good break behind that pillar there. Yeah. I don't think I am. I... Alrighty then. Next up is Call Me Gil. And on deck we have Direwolf Sang. Nice. Now, today's game of the day. Can I spell Jorvengunder right on my spreadsheet? First try. Because it very rarely occurs. Miguel's asked for heavy mix. Really? All right. You saw the power of the potato. Hmm. Let's try this. On format, TS. What's up, what's up? It's a lot. There's a lot to be, um, there's a lot up for chance in the mech pick and how you play. It's a good format. It is a lot though for, uh, for any of the players I bring in, uh, mainly because playing back to back to back to back for hours on end is, uh, it's, uh, rough. So there's some very interesting mech picks. I like this. 
I'm actually really looking quick. forward to car uh, to seeing how how Carbon's build plays out because oh boy, this actually looks really strong. Skill loops me and shoots me in the back. Carbon has the. Oh shit. No, no. Holy shit. Oh. 6T too strong? Yeah, that's the between having to stare for your damage and being able to yeah. shoot and twist. Yeah. yeah I, th I think you had a solid DPS lead, but. Uh, being, mm. But being able to twist, I want to say it's a. F I want to say it's a 50 point alpha. 60. You just shoot, twist, shoot, twist. Mm hmm. Wow. Yeah. Alrighty, GG's. Get Good one. Up, uh, if you want to let me know what mech you want. Is there, um... Is there a premium version of the 60? There's not. The 60 only premium for version pack? Oh my goodness, that would be glorious. <laughs> Shit. I got it see how Gil... Yeah, Gil, uh, you have until the end of the stream to, to, to decide. Don't worry. Uh, I just gotta make sure I spell your name right. Julio. Alrighty. And then next we have Dire Wolf Sang. I'm pretty sure I had it on my friends list. Yeah, I do. And then on deck after that is Axagor. I will saying shoot choosing assaults. Cool. All right. Is it a direwolf? I think I have something a little bit different honestly i have not seen direwolf saying play it play a direwolf once in comp and i <laughs> and i quite frankly get um, get annoyed more and more every time i see him not in a direwolf like just never is saying mean never <laughs> all righty we're green uh and yeah actually a plat uh, I feel like a I, f I feel like a platinum six T would be uh, a a platinum crusader six T would be pretty good. Perfect. Yeah. But unfortunately, uh, Piranha Games has not added that yet, which makes me very sad. Carbon Fire, rocking the Annihilator. And I do it a little differently. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, Ultimate Ghost says that Sang is a blood name, which is okay. So that so, so that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Massive play is coming from our challenger here. Uh, this is uh, this is a go big or go home, and I live for it. All right. Hit me. Oh yeah. That oh, that's big. Messed up my weapon groups on this. I would say carbon fire has the poke advantage, but yeah, I think I gotta wiggle off most of his damage for this to be viable. Dire wolf is open CT. Carbon fire is open side. Good try. Ooh, that was pretty close. Dire Wolf hitboxes are too bad, though, unfortunately. He basically just so. he basically just lost that because of his hitboxes. Good focus, though, Dire Wolf.
Yeah, you can see it in the damage too. Oh yeah, Direwolf had a soundingly more damage, but yeah, Annihilator just spreads damage too well. Yeah. It is truly unfortunate that the Direwolf will remain mediocre for all time. Hmm. 30% size shrink. Yeah, in fact, I was super excited <laughs> when the when the direwolf variants got its uh got it got it got its CT armor, but I thought it'd be able to to hold on to an, an annihilator in a in a in an isolated scenario. But I was too. Then you have to realize that like a lot of lights almost have as much armor as it does on a CT, and they're yeah. what four, six, even eight times smaller. Yeah, it's it's kind of insane if you think about it from that perspective. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty, next is Axagor. And then on deck, we have Ravni. Ready? He picks light mechs. Alrighty, first light mech of the evening. Cool, cool. to the platinum chest. Pain Glove, rating with... 35 versus 35. Not a typical machine gun light tonnage, so it'll be interesting. I mean, yeah, I think the only 35 machine gun light is the Geno 2C. Magic Pain Glove, rating with the 105 viewers, though. Shout out to my, to my man. And you know what? If you, uh, MPG, if I... If, if, if you ever want to play during, during, during one of these events... I mean, just say, I will, I will, I will definitely bring you in one of these nights. <laughs> Sterian, oh hoo hoo. Ooh, carbon fire, bring in the Jenner 2C with six small pulls. Is it good? I don't know. Is it platinum? Yes. Didn't the Gen C recently get its uh, armor buffed in the in the CT? Oh, what what the? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! The early crits! Oh wow! Whoa! Triple snubs! My man. I mean, it's not even the triple snubs. It's getting two of your small poles crit out immediately. <laughs> get shooting, dude. Another crit! Another one! Holy! Kastarian, you 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 need to sign up for for the for the lottery, my dude. Like holy shit. Amazing. Oh my Good. goodness. Oh my goodness. It's not meta proving strong. <laughs> Somebody please. Naveed, I know you're here. Please do the math. That I is need, crazy. I need to know what the what the odds are for that for for those grits. Uh, Kastarian, I will put you down. Let me know what you want. You see the damage that kicked out? It's like three hundred damage. Yeah, I mean, there is a there is a definite cause of why of why snubs. Are gonna are, mm. are are getting nerfed. Yeah, yeah. Good pick though. Ah, good. Yeah. 
uh, who is next on deck? Ravni, that's it. Uh, Ax Axagor Kastarian wants the Resistance Black Knight. Oh. Rapney, awesome. I feel like I'm starting to... After a while, I should just know a lot of your IGNs. At least start adding you to my... to my... to my... to my friends list if you're... if you are, uh, com... if you're... If, if you're common players. And on deck, we have... Stogie Steve. Light mechs again, already. Alright, cool, cool. If you're all bringing snubs, I might have to change my picks up here. Uh, isn't there a... Is there a... Is there a Platinum Panther? There is. is. There is. It's the... Panther 9RP with snubs would be... <laughs> tri uh, triple snub 9, 9R. Like, it's like... It's not... It, it's not the best plat it, like it's not the best snub snub panther but i mean it's pretty good okay yeah i don't have that one built but okay. uh... all right all right both sides are right let's get to it triple snub wolfhound Will that be viable after the patch? Yeah. That's pretty big. That's like getting hit by a triple peep veagle. Uh, so the patch snub heat is going up and snub and snub ghost heat is going up. So you probably won't be able to fire three as much, but uh, you can still fire one, two a lot. Yeah. Fire bring in the katana cat. Uh, it's not quite an oldie, but like it's it has fallen out of uh, the quad light peeps has fallen out of the meta a bit, not because it's gotten weaker, but just because yes, everybody everybody else has sort of started to shift towards newer things. going for legs, I think. Carbon fire, just trying to get whatever shot he can. With, <laughs> with, with, with this firestorm jumping all around him. A bit, a bit of rubber banding there. Ooh, there we go. Good shot. Good one, Ravni. Lights still viable. I don't think lights ever stop being be, being viable, being vitable, vitamin, vitable, vitamin. Alrighty, uh, Stogie C, can you throw me your in-game name, please? Uh, and then next on deck, we have Giggity of KDCM. All right. All right, uh, Stogie Steve, 
So East Eve has asked for heavy mechs. And of course, for those who are uh, just joining in or uh, or newer to the comp scene, uh, we are starting the month of August. And for those of you who know who know what that means, uh, comp queue for the World Cup will be opening. Uh, I want to say the third week of the month. So. If, so if you so if you have not found a team for for worlds yet and you want to play, now it now is the time because comp queue will be opening soon. Are running the night gear. You Ooh, think this you. can beat the Crusader? Good question. And we beat the Crusader. Our clan mech still viable. I think IS is OP. I, I actually think the mechs that have the best chance of being the Crusader are clan mechs. Me, just because of their damage potential? Yep. Because the Crusader is not particularly tanky. Neither are most clan mechs, so you just out DPS it, or out alpha it, as it were. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, Stogie Steve running that laser vomit. Cool. Thank you, Stogie Steve, for being different. Took a seat for running a bit more of an unorthodox build. Uh, ooh, he's going to try, 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 try at the low down level. Uh, typically large pulse, uh, sorry, heavy large and and med pulse. They 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 do offer a lot more alpha and and a lot more a lot more DPS. I'm curious to see how it'll play out. Ooh, carbon fire open CT. Oh, Stogie is almost heat capped. Oh, nice, Stogie. Alrighty. Stogie was one touch CT, but. I thought I had him. Out, I really did. Hold down the end. They put Stogie Steve down as a winner. Next up, we have Giggity Giggity Goo. Giggity's gonna call for heavy mechs and pick linebackers. Oh, never mind. He's going for assault mechs. He's not that predictable. I mean, he's KCM, so I was totally gonna expect it. Yeah. Uh, temp, the count is four to four as far as wins and wins and losses. Wins and losses. Nice. Oh my god, I can't speak. Okay. There are no there are no restrictions in this format. Line, well. What do we want to do with this? Can I recycle mechs? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. All right, because we're going to run out of line, um, not linebackers, annihilators pretty quickly. I mean, are you bringing only annihilators? Oh, you know what? I had an idea. Alright, let's do it.
Ooh, 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 okay, okay. A non a non annihilator. I am looking forward to this. Stokey Steve has asked for the mean baby. Ooh, this is interesting. Ultimate Ghost, I'm sorry, but I've been told before that you can't donate your mech to 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 other players. However, no. if however if you have however if you had an alt account, then yeah. Uh, Stokey Steve wants an Annihilator, Mean Baby. Bowser, if you could put that down. Alright. I actually really like this guy. And Gig Goo running the AC10, AC5, Annihilator 1-8, the old King of Solaris. Yo, yeah, that's good. Fires open side. Giggity's spread damage pretty much all over his mech. Okay, okay. Just snack it past there. Get one gig. Hey, gig giggity, if you want to let me know which mech you want. Very gig eclectic mech picks from our master tonight. <laughs> I'm trying to be different, Bowser. I respect it. Let's look at the damage numbers here. Oh, wow, giggity showing up with the big damage. Yeah, you just can't beat the Annie for 1v1. says he'll let me know in a few no no worries you have until the end of the stream and next up did i call somebody on deck i did not call call somebody on deck so next up is man boob sama and then after that we will start doing shuffle picks uh man boobs if you can let me know what you, what your in-game name is And then after this, folks, we are doing Shuffle Pick. And as of right now, there are 25 more players in the queue. We're going to be running until 11 p.m. Eastern, so an hour and 15 more, uh, 15 more minutes. And then, yeah. After ten, after that, we'll do a quick, a, a quick, a quick pulse check to see how it's going. the fourth. you like man boobs i think man boobs wants an assault map given his uh given given his hundred tonner all right
Okay. Yeah, assault mix. If they if if they if they if they join in a if they join in a hundred tonner, then uh, I'm just gonna assume assault mix. All right, buddy. A hundred tons. <laughs> Try it. I like I this think. idea. That's the right attitude. All right. Let's see, locked. Ooh, a nine hundred tonner. Carbon fire in the Mauler. The Mauler is a mech where I really feel like it needs a little bit of love, but not a oh my goodness. Oh my <laughs> stars. Bowser, the Challenger's mech. I love the mech our Challenger brought. Let's just say that. I Big heavily fan. approve. However, his however is the path he is currently taking. I do not heavily approve. Actually, actually, this may be Giga Brain. <clears throat> this may be the biggest brain I've seen, depending. It is not the biggest brain I've seen. I repeat, it is not the biggest brain I've seen. Man boobs has gotta find a way to close. Carbon fire is just it's ju is just sitting up it's just sitting on the Pokeball. Is that what it is? i it is it looks like a Pokeball. Or at least that's what I always call it. Oh, there it is. Man boobs, come on, buddy. Not like this. Actually, he can. Actually, he can actually fire now. He's in range. Yeah, he can. He might want to consider it. We did, but he already lost a bunch of his rockets. Uh, he already lost a bunch before he was able to yeah, shoot. Too late. Good try, though. It's a good try. Yeah. Was he all rockets? Rockets and snubs. My man. Yeah, I feel like because I mean it's got an optimal of five of a five of five hundred. If he fired before he got halved, he may have been able to get it off. Yeah. Alright, let me put man boobs in. Thank you, man boobs, for playing. Did I put somebody on deck? I keep forgetting to put somebody on deck. My bad. Our next player is Blue Laser 5000. What is your in game name, good sir? And on deck, we have Night Mage. Uh, Blood Eagle, it's Q join, not join Q. Blue laser? It... Oh, oh, it's James Bond. Yeah, blue laser. Yeah.
James Bond doesn't mean. Uh, duh, duh, I already know what it is. <laughs> like, we know. We know. We know. Yeah, just lock in their flea. I'll get my flea. You get your flea. You don't have to bring a flea. I mean, technically, technically, you can bring streaks. Ooh, that's dirty. I'm trying hey, to do uh, the people right here, TS. Yes. I want to say Gadolidium beat, 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 beat Data because he bought because he because he brought a streak fox oh, against oh, against Data's uh, against Data's fire starter. Oh, that's dirty. I mean. You gotta do what you gotta do to win. Yeah. See how this plays. Let's see how this plays. <laughs> uh, I think that then um, would the street javelin be, be, be better than the, than the street fox? Right. It, I think it would because it would have should have much higher DPS and it's much tankier. James already opened like has his carbon fire. James is already one touch like. Carbon fire gets it. Pretty honestly, all things considered, it was pretty close. Definitely. Yeah. Considering the massive DPS mismatch between those two mechs, it was actually pretty close. James brought it to a good fight. Mm -hmm. Well played. Always a good. Thank you. Always for good fight, James. With him. I will put you down for the 500 MC. And let's see. Who did I have on deck? Uh. Shit, I scrolled down too far. Night, night mage. That's right. Night Mage, if you could let me know your in-game name. Are you the same Night Mage who's in Beatdown? Because if so, I may already have you on my friends list. Yo, then I think I already have you, Night Mage. Yeah, I do. Oh shit, sorry James. I didn't see you request that. To be fair, you probably would have beaten me in a flea. Teos told me to stop giving away mechs though. Did I? <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Next on deck, we have Zelk, which I learned is not Zelkai. I I think I'm I think I made that mistake last time, or the first time. Heavy. Okay. I know. I know. I'm sorry, Zelk. Scatness, yes, uh, that was who? That was my 3v3 tournament, uh, which I want to say was, was that My Man's Mayhem? Was that, was it, was that my three? I have it here somewhere. Because uh, I know, I know the exact match. It was uh, GNX against RJF. GNX was in a flea and it was on the... It was on the it was it was on the four v four map that was uh, open and has like the grid and has the grid buildings. I don't know if that's test A or test B. But, yeah. Big open one is 
Oh, yeah, I forget now too. <laughs> That was my that was my man's mayhem, which was January this year. Damn swarm. You can't you can't play you can't play because you're in jail. I feel that. I feel that. Sheesh, that's hard. I mean the fact that uh the uh the uh, the fact that you can watch a that, that that you can watch a stream in jail though that's pretty good somebody threw a cell phone over the fence i actually watched a i actually watched a vid of like it was a it was a it was a fake soda can designed to have a phone in it in order to smuggle <laughs> into jail it was pretty cool it's always the cake though you gotta hide it in the cake Let's get to it. What is 60 tons? Uh, 60 tonner is... Let's see, the good 60 ton dra uh, dragon, hellfire... Dragon, yeah. Those quick good. draw. Mm -hmm. those, those are the three uh, 60 tonners I would pick. Carbon fire showing up in another platinum mech. Mm-hmm. Thank you, PGI. Ooh, Night Mage. I am liking this map. Like the Black Knight is a mech that really needs more more uh, armor, or at least something to account for its mounts. It needs something to add, yeah. Because the because I mean, Armor Pass One was to account for the for the bat for the bad hitboxes, and now and now it needs armor to account for its mounts. Night Mage is his open C his open C T and he is C capped along with Carbon Fire. Night Mage just ate just ate that shot that broke. That's a good twist. Ooh, oh Night Mage overheating oh, it's a Night Mage. Eh? Yeah, the Black Knight catches bullets. Yeah, it's uh it's uh oof. good damage I put from that dragon though. Uh Axagor, I believe you already um uh, one moment. Okay. Uh and then who did I put on deck? I got uh I got a right. Um Zelk, that's right, that's right. Uh Zelk, if you could let me know your in-game name, please. It is Zelk. I've seen him around. Get that invite sent, and then And then next on deck we have Dozer. Oh, sir. All right. All right. Zelk has chosen Assault Max. Okay. Dozer, you can't ask where you are in the queue because you were just because you were chosen. <laughs> okay.
anybody wants to not take Annie's, I will also indulge that. It's fun. <laughs> FYI, I'm not in an Annie. That is a that is a binding contract. Okay, fun buddy, fact, let's uh, go. Here in Florida, a, uh, a a a handshake is is actually can, is actually considered considered binding. Huh. If you make a deal and you and you and you shake hands on it and you can prove you and prove you shook hands, yeah. It How holds. do you prove that you shook hands? So you have to record the two of you saying you did it, and then record shaking hands. And that works everywhere <laughs> except for for real estate. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, hey, hey. There are more there are more ninety-five tonners than than the, the, the execution. executioner. Come on now. Come on. Ooh, ooh. I like Zelk's pick though. I like it a lot. That's a good pick. Zelk, uh, Zelk is running straight in, trying to close. One of the advantage of the of the of the Kodiak Spirit Bear it is the mask, so it is probably the the, the best mech to close as far as. Goes. Ooh, carbon fire getting a little bit back. Yeah, it's hot. I know I can't outrun him. Carbon Zelk already open side. SRMs are gone for Zelk. Carbon fire is legged though. Yeah, he's got me legged. Zelk is going all in on all in on the leg. Zelk is open CT and open side. Oh. Carbon's open leg. Ooh, Ooh, that was probably the like, closest match of the night. Yeah. Definitely. Cherry Red CT. That was a, that was a very good match. <laughs> I'll play to Zelk. <laughs> Alrighty, Zelk. If you want to let me know what mech you want. I'm currently waiting on the mech picks from Call Me Gill, Ultimate Ghost, and Zelk. I... Uh, and then next on deck we have Dozer thirty twenty five. Dozer, I feel like I have to my friends list. Harbin, can you? Is that the? Yep. Is that the Dozer that's currently in? Yep. Your in your team. Although he doesn't have numbers after his name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he is on my friends list. However, he is currently deployed and in a group. In the group. <laughs> yeah. Dozer. All right. Uh, Dozer, I'm going to. I'm going to put to push you back one slot. Ju uh, ju just to keep the ball. Just keep the ball rolling. And next up is Bernard Beckett. I believe that's Pirate Queen Beckett, if memory serves. 
Oh, like Pirate Queen Beckett? Was that the name? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's him. And let, yeah. Unless he renames his account. Uh, I guess I'll try, I, I'll try Pirate Queen Beckett. Mm -hmm. There we go. Is that it? There. Uh, last time we saw Pi uh, Pirate Queen Beckett, they beat Data uh, with the four HPPC Awesome 8Q against Data's AC5 and AC2 Kingcraft. Massive. Oh well, yeah, right. it was a huge upset. For 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 those of you that 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 don't know, your place your place in the queue does not do, does not matter as I am picking players at random. Uh, Beckett has chosen assaults. All right. Oh, 80? Okay. And after this match, uh, I will be uh, pulling, I will be pausing the queue for a moment in order to give my, give my, give my co-caster Bowser here a chance to play. All right. Seeing as I know he wanted to, uh, I know he wanted a shot tonight and I kind of roped him into to doing the cast, so. Uh, we out here. This is how you pay Bowser. Timberwolf S. I don't think that's a variant, is it? S S. That should be a variant. No, because there's there there no the Timberwolf S special. No, that's not a variant, is it? There's a there's a Steam variant of the Timberwolf. That's the C whatever. That's the C S. Is it the so, C? So Gil, uh, did uh, so there's the S Platinum, and there's the C S. The C the the CS is the Steam variant. All right, Carbon. Whenever you're ready. Uh, yeah. And then the Steam variant is the one that comes with. I want to say Franken. No, it comes with Hot Rod. All right, Gil wants the P. Oh, he wants the P. All right, fantastic. Yeah, the uh, the, the S yeah the S platinum. I don't think there's an eighty ton platinum. Anyway, hit it. Yes, uh, I did. Ultimate Ghost. You wanted the uh, the AS7S loyalty. There's gotta be an 80 ton plat. There, there is. It, it's is there? The, it's the newest pack. It's the Gargoyle E. Oh, okay. Carbon Fire bring in. Ooh, I actually, I actually like this man. And Pirate Queen Beckett going with the oldie but goodie. Can you fire four uh, four HP four HP PPCs and not break a hundred heat on the AQ? Yes, that's correct. Okay. That's dirty. Ooh, yeah. Now there you have, you have to build it a very specific way in order to do that. So uh, our challenger here might not have done that, given that they're not alphaing all four. I believe you have to build it with single heat sinks and an XL engine in order to do that. Uh, and he's going way, way too quick to be to, to be spamming singles. Right, the trait, the, 
the, the, the trade fast continues. I feel like Beckett is trying a little too hard to make quick snapshots. I feel like he's got to, like, try to steady himself just, just a bit. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, Selk, it's fine, you can get the, you can get the Dire Wolf UV. Becca did, uh, Alpha, and it was only 75% heat. Say again? Uh, Becca did, uh, Alpha all four, and it was only 75% heat. Probably has single heat sinks then. Yeah, and he's running LFE. Must have not got convergence, that would have hurt. Um. Cool. There we go. Uh, I am not... I am not vibing with this song. I'm gonna skip it to another one. Okay. Uh, Do uh, Dozer, you are up next, uh, and, however, uh, I'm, I'm gonna do a quick pause, so you're gonna be up after Bowser. Bowser, which, uh, which weight class would you like? Lights. Lights, alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Zelk, uh just uh just gotta make sure you want the direwolf prime eye or the direwolf uh UV. Prime eyes uh Sebo boost. All right, he wants the UV. Got it. Got to get those ballistic torsos or arms. You both are in comms with me. I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure you both can't. You, I'm just gonna. I'm actually just gonna mute myself on here so that I can cast without without giving either of you two info. Okay, cool. For real quick, I I have to ask who who ready is that first? No, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. God damn it! <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. I actually want to try this against right, whatever right. Bowser's cooking up. Let's go. Alrighty, alrighty. They are muted so they cannot hear me. Uh, Carbon Fire bringing the Heavy Machine Gun Lynx and Bowser bringing the Triple Snub Panther 9R. So, uh, for th so for those of you who are not familiar with what's been going on in the game uh, very, very recently, we have been in sort of a snub mayhem, and any mech that can that can run three snubs snub is pretty much sound. is pretty much going to do yes. great. So. Let's see how this goes. Carbon Fire has a huge lead as far as mech DPS. However, Bows has amaz has amazing pinpoint with with the snubs. Carbon Fire. 
Bowser trying trying to close, deal as much damage as he can. Bow, Bowser already opening him CT. Ooh, one one more solid shot is all he needs. And he's open legs, and there we go. EG. Ooh boy. Ooh boy. Things a monster. That mech does not feel like do, do, does not feel like a light mech. It just doesn't. It's too big. Okay. Look how much damage it did. It DPS's machine guns. All right, Bowser, you have access to the sheet, so if you just want to put in your prize at some point. Was that the Panther 9R? Yes, it was. Panther 9R with that hefty 10% heat cork. Alrighty, now it is time to bring in Dozer. Sorry about the wait, Dozer. And then on deck we have Wumsy Bunny. Dozer, which weight class would you like? And this 15%, by the way, not 10%. Actually makes a big difference. Oh yeah, definitely. Lights and new and no worries, you are here now, so we're all set. All right. Sweating on common fires every. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Kish Prime, you have not missed your pull yet. Interesting choice from uh, our master here, especially yeah. using this mech post nerf. Oh yeah, Ember the uh, Ember uh. lost its rate of fire. I forget. Did the did the did the firestorm keep its rate of fire? I believe the firestorm lost it too. Ah, sad panda. Uh, ooh. It's gonna hope for the armor. Doesn't this mech have a good structure? And we have Dozer going straight into the stratosphere, taking a huge amount of leg damage. So. <laughs> I think that may have actually cost him the match. Oh shit. Well, maybe not though, he's shooting his leg. Carbon can't get around to his leg. He's still shooting his leg really well. Carbon's leg. Wrong leg. Oh, Carbon's exposed the wrong leg to him. This is close. This is close. Oh, and he oh, shielded the legs midair. Oh my goodness. Dude, he took so much leg damage on the fall though. I thought it was over. <laughs> I totally thought it was over. Average non fall damage absorption enjoyer. <laughs> Alrighty, Do Dozer, if you want to let me know what, what mech you want. And then on deck we had Clumsy Bunny, if you could let me know what your in-game name is.
In game name is Clumsy Bunny. Awesome. Yes, do do Dozer. Uh, any mech that is uh, currently available to buy in the store, whether in game or online. Uh, however, the however uh, the only mechs that you can get that cannot be currently bought is is loyalty mechs, or like any of the weird variants, like uh, NCIX Centurion, uh, any of the Steam variants, which is I want to say Panther. Ebon Jag, Timberwolf. There were there were a lot of scene variants. Uh Wolverine 6R has has a has a steam variant as I've discovered. Power into 2C hero? He can do that. Yes, you can. Yes, uh, you can you can get those Dan Rap. Alrighty, Clumsy Bunny's asked for light mechs. Cool. for about another 40 minutes here, folks. Uh, you are good do dozer. Uh, once the once the night is over, I will get to all of these mechs sent to Piranha Games, and we can go from there. Oh, I didn't to build on this one. This was a mech I honestly this is one of my favorite lights of all time. And I really <laughs> remember hope, this. <laughs> I really hope the patch did more to it, but um, but unfortunately it's still a little subpar even after its buff. Used to be a pretty meta pick. Oh yeah, it was once like the best comp light in the game. Yeah. Somebody running the triple snub. Alrighty, alrighty. Ooh, he's, he's going for legs. Uh, I, I think he's going for CT. Ooh, he's already liked. And Carbon Fire is up inside, though. Ooh, it's good, though. Damn, GG. Good pretty shot, close. man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I feel yeah. like if Clumsy Bunny got, uh, got a triple snub shot off on his open side. <laughs> oh, yeah. Would have been over. It's right, thank you for playing, Clubsy Bunny. I will put you down for the 500 MC. And did I pull anyone on deck? No. Alrighty. Next player is John Waltz. And then after that, we have on so on deck we have Cortland W. Alright, John Waltz. What is your in-game name? No, John, that means you're playing. What is your in-game name, my good sir?
John Waltz wants to be on deck. Uh, Cor uh, Cor uh, Cortland W., what is your in-game name? Game name is Cork. Love it. Cork. Cork has asked for medium mix. John, you're fine. Medium. Yeah, Quirk, whatever you want, try. Locked in at 40 tons. Okay. Forty ton platinum mech? Yes. Yes. No. I don't think there's a forty ton. I don't think there is either. I'm gonna this check is right the now. <laughs> Platinum Mech Store. Arctic Wolf. Arctic Wolf. Alright, let me see if I have that built. Mm, no. So, Alright, so it'll have to be this one. And the Cicada 3M, though I hope nobody brings that. <laughs> it, it would it would not be a good mech in this scenario. No, it wouldn't. But I have one built. Somebody wants to challenge me to it. Ooh, Carbon Fire, bring in the Hunchback 4P. Ooh, Cork, I, uh... I'm enjoying this mech. I am enjoying it a lot. Very interesting build. Uh, Kieran, the challenger is technically supposed to lock first, but I, I never actually put in that rule until I was asked. I don't know. I just assume that if it's that they that if it's a one v one, both people will just ready up and play. I didn't really subscribe to a lot to uh, to a lot. Of so, I don't know. Never... Carbon Fire definitely has a much higher alpha than Quark here, but I'm curious to see how, it, how it'll play out. Yeah, I think something people should understand is this is all supposed to be done for fun. This isn't like a serious mm -hmm. challenge, a tournament, or event. Like, I I think the, that plot is being missed by people, so... 
That's fair. I think people should just be aware of that. Yep. We're all we're all we're all here for fun, and we're all and, and we're all here to you know sh uh, shoot our shot to win mechs. And even if you don't win, there's still there's still 500 MC getting thrown your way. Ooh, Cork. I think going for the wrong side. And Cork is open. Cork is open side though. That's huge. Getting the blood kick and jump. When you can run two tens up. Yes. Ooh, Cork gets Cork, Cork gets his arm shot shot off. He is on the run. Me, me, meanwhile, Carbon Fire smells blood in the water, trying to come in. Cork gets tapped. You shoot on the wrong side. Oh no! Shoot the hunch, Quirk. The big thing on my shoulder. And Carbon Fire gets the win. Thank nice you streamer. for playing, Quirk. I will put you down for the 500 MC. And next is uh, John. That's right. Uh, John did give me his in-game name, Vivis Clone. John. This club. Light mix, alrighty. And on deck we have the Warrior Painter. If you can give me your in-game name, please. Lots of light challenges tonight. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're gonna see a lot more snub, snub panther nine hours <laughs> now. <laughs> I, I'm trying to pick a mech that just doesn't have snubs on it. That's if it's strong, it's strong. Yeah, too strong. I got a little, got a little herby here. I accidentally, uh, I accidentally close out Twitch. Uh, uh, warrior, uh, warrior painter, can you put your name in chat again for me, please? Oh wow, this is Max. I am. Oh uh, my goodness. Oh, uh, sorry. This is the police. I'm concerned. and a K9 with ballistics, huh? Interesting. Dude, this dude. 
this is a blast from the past. You can actually wait. No, it's it's not. It's it, uh, it, it's not SRM ports. SRM four you four you can just king. Uh, okay. You, uh, you can already go inside. Meanwhile, Carbon Fire seems to have taken the most damage in the legs. Hugin is open. Hugin uh, is one touch. Unless he's LFE. Maybe? Ooh. Oh, no. Nope. XL. GG's. Thank you for playing, buddy. GG's. I'll, I'll put you down for the 500 MC. And next up we have Red Baron. Painter's game crash. Roger, Roger, Roger. I will grab instead Crazy Indian Joe. Monsieur Indian Joe, are you there? Maybe the warrior painters, but not his makeup. Indian Joe, there, there you are. Can you let me know what, uh, what, what, what your in-game name is? Sent and then just let us know which weight class you want. <laughs> I'm trying to think. World uh, Comp Q opens in August. Uh, Is it end August, September first. It's 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 the fourth. It's the third or fourth week week of August. Yeah. Send the invite again. There we go. He's here. Uh, Media Mac, sorry. Yeah, so CompQ is in August. I'm trying to think. Is there any more Mech Warrior news? Uh, is there a new map coming out in, in August or September? Hmm, they might fix Vitrick? <laughs> uh, the fix for that is coming in the August patch. Yeah. Joe Medium Max locked in at 40 tons. Ooh. So while so while the finals are in December, uh the, uh, the comp queue does not run all the way until November. In fact, if memory serves, comp queue clo cl closes like our like October or so, and then and then it becomes top twelve, uh, and then top twelve is all is all private lobbies, and that runs for a month and a half or so, and then after that it's it's the final. So ever comp queue is only like a third to half of the of the world's time frame. All right, carbon is locked in. Let's go. Next map is planned for ne for September, says Naveed. I oh. think he says. What is it? I actually don't know. Tell us. 
Carbon Fire is running, ooh, a Vindicator 1X. I haven't seen this mech since it was in Solaris Div 7. That's right, straight out of Div 7. With a build out of Div 14. Hey, you finally brought a mech with snubs. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. This is going to be a very interesting matchup. <laughs> My goodness. Vindy has all the armor. Has all the armor coming for it, though. It's got the DPS. I can't run away. Got initial hits in the Vindicator. I am love. I am loving the the Daisy Ten cooldown though. Vipers going going for legs, spreading damage a little bit, but 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 not very much anymore. One of Carbon's legs is almost open. Viper's open side. Ooh, Viper's open both sides. Viper's oh, out. he's halved. That's huge. He's still getting railed. The Vindicator is the uh, lower arm actuators. That's. Ooh. Nice. There. That's Ooh. Close. Super close. Yeah, if I didn't have arms, I would have been hooped. Thank you for Very playing, close. Indian Joe. I will put you down for the 500 MC. And next is Red Baron. So I kind of want to try one uh, AC-10 once now. That, that mech looked like it had a pretty big cooldown perk. It does. It's fun. Indicator 1x. Oh yeah, it's got a 20% cooldown quirk. Baron. And on deck, we have Gatto 64. Gatto, alright. Uh, is that... is that... Is that, is that gadolinium from uh, SRG? It is. It is. Alrighty. I'm assuming Red Baron wants assaults. Is that what he's known for? Well, I mean, he joined a uh, hundred time back. Alright. Yep, assaults. Kind of expecting to see more king crap, love. Come on, common fire. We only have fifteen more minutes. Okay.
Oh, maybe carbon fire. Ooh, okay. And red baron. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, these mech picks. I'm looking forward uh, to this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fire going to play on the on the Pokeball. Red Baron, I'm not sure I'm agreeing with with where he's going given his mech build. Baron taking a lot of damage on approach. Red Baron's really, really got it. Really got it close though. If if he wants the best shot at this, I think his best bet is honestly just to turret because he has way more DPS than our master's mech. So, and he is. I mean, he has a lot of DPS with that build. Yeah, it's fair. I think it's still salvageable. Be. I think it's still salvageable for him, though. He hasn't taken that much damage. He just no, needs to don't. get in there and start shooting. Because the thing with that Gossiard's Dire Wolf is it has a crippling weakness that if he can exploit it, he can win pretty easily. Oh, yeah, definitely. Don't, don't tell him about my weakness. And we're about to discover the moment of truth. That's the point, yeah. Damn. Good shot. He needed to just turret and DPS, kind of. Even like walking in the open versus that would have been fine. Because his mech is very good on D DPS and very good on heat. Which is fair. Alrighty. Good try, though. Good try. Alright. Gadolinium is up next. And on deck after that, we have. Dagger, MWO Dagger. Uh, consumables are allowed. Anything you can bring into a quick play is allowed in this in this private lobby. Even lerms? Yeah, lerms are allowed. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think we've seen a few lerm plays. Not tonight, but other nights. Bigger's better. And seeing as we are approaching on the last 10 minutes, uh, Gadolinium is up, and then we have Dagger, and then I'm gonna pull two names after that, and then we're and then we're gonna call it a night, folks. Sounds good. Sixty-five tons, and I believe I already know what what gadolinium is bringing. So you do? I do. You're right to share. Oh no, not mm. uh, not 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 yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay. My man's coming in here asking our master to pick a number to decide his fate. Fortune teller <laughs> looking ass. A uh, uh, man. I mean, if he wins, it'll be a Chad play. Definitely Chad. Mm. All right, hit it.
Korean Ooh, the Black Widow. Actually, I feel like that is one of the strongest picks as far as as far as the heavyweight class goes. Uh, Gadolinium bringing a very powerful pick though. I like both these guys' picks. Oh yeah. But I feel like Gadolinium could fit could fit an extra one in there, but. Oh, nice scatter. I thought you would have taken something else. I could have taken Rifleman with you. Gadolinium waiting, waiting. Ooh, dropping a strike in advance. I want to say Gadolinium has, has a lot more DPS here. However, he is starting He's starting to get capped, and he's spreading damage way too much. Open CT, one touch, and there he goes. Jams. It wasn't even spreading damage, though. It, it's just the inherent nature of UX, where, especially when you have that many like UX fives, he was just getting screwed by jams. At the end there, he had three out of his five UX jammed. Oh, wow. Because they're fives, they're going to be jammed for a while. That's just the inherent nature of bringing UX to 1v1 engagement. Yep. So yeah, a lot of people prefer like standard ACs damage. because of that. I don't think you can put three standards in an arm on a you rifle, cannot. though. You cannot. You could do four AC-10s, though, just as an example. Oh. Don't give the people ideas. Yeah, we're watching the stream right now. It looks like he's he constantly has, like, two or three guns jammed that whole engagement. Yep. Who did I bring up? Uh, Dagger D, that's right. Uh, Dagger, can you let me know what your uh, in-game name is? Oh, Dagger D. Alright, and in Carbon Fire, he, uh, he picks Assaults. Assaults, okay. something a bit different we have already hamster and yeah mm -hmm. uh for the uh for those who are sad that they that they that they didn't get to play tonight however i will be drawing one name after after Artie Hamster, if you are within the first ten to sign up, you are you are guaranteed a slot. And yes, uh, Enova is current is currently in queue. For the one who asked. Ooh. Ooh, Laudy. Ooh, Laudy. Oh, my Christ. Uh. I was gonna say Carbon Fire is at a. Wow, okay. A, these, guys, these guys is mechs and builds, so. Alright. Uh. Am I in trouble? Right. No. Yes, I am. Normally danger. you would be in no normally you would be in trouble, but not not this time. Carbon fire setting up on the ramp, trying trying to establish eyes. Dagger taking a bit of an un unorthodox route. I don't know how they haven't seen each other yet. That's a good question.
and the eyes have been made. Or at least I hope so. No, they haven't. <laughs> well, he has. Ooh, dagger drops a strike. For him. Nice. First blood dagger. going to dagger. Ooh, 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 ooh. Carbon fire getting a shot. Er, er, shot at CT. One, one thing I will say, though, is that uh, dagger fire has, I mean, uh, not uh, dagger fire, dagger has spread has spread weapons while carbon fire does not. So dagger is at an extreme, extreme disadvantage at this range. The dagger's dagger. Dagger's open. Oof, just look at the damage spread on that Fafner, though. That's yeah. really a Fafner moment. Holy this shit. Fafner. It really makes you wonder why this mech hasn't gotten, like, double the CD armor. Oh my goodness! But Dude, look at the angle he just got hit from. Yeah, I mean, that's just the Fafner, right? Is It's just, you're, oh you really God. have to wonder how come this mech doesn't have at least twice as much CT armor as it has when you watch oh. stuff like this, but I don't know. Over 90 it's crazy degree to watch. angle. Over yep. 90 degrees. Unbelievable. I guess people are afraid that, like, the Fafner will become dominant or something. It's really weird. I don't think that's happening. <laughs> That seems to be the only logical response I can conclude. <laughs> Take its textures and wrap them over the stalker model. Uh, I mean... Yeah, so I mean, typically, uh, the Fafnir is a very unsafe pick, and when I saw Carbon Fire in, in the Fafnir, I was, I, was, I was a little concerned. Then I saw his opponent was in uh, a Fafnir, and I was like, okay. This is a, a bit. This is a bit more equal, but I think the I think the spread weapons are are really what done the grave here. Uh, Artie Hamster, did you give me your in-game name? If not, can you give me your in-game name? Artillery hamster already. Good name. Already artillery, what is your weight class? And for the final pick for tonight. <laughs> Da -na -na -na. Ando Senpai. Senpai. Endo Senpai. Okay. Our time is chosen light mix. No Annie's. Love it. Twenty tons too. Uh, so there's no platinum 20 tonner. But this is close. Let's go. Fortunately, we don't get to hear it. Alrighty, already, already. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm curious to see how how it goes. It has a peak. Uh, the Mech Warrior for Fa Fafnir CT did not extend out that much. In fact, the Mech Warrior 4 was was actually relatively flat compared to what to what we have now. As far as looking at the Fafnir uh, hit, uh, hitboxes. However, artillery... No, 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 no. 
Triple heavy medium waves is very hot in that piranha. Like, yeah. You probably try that on. Try it on the Jenner. Probably doesn't have cool shots either. Alrighty. And for the final match of tonight, we have Ando Senpai. Ando, what is your endgame name? Ando Senpai is not here. They have they have already closed Twitch. Alrighty. G Ram, oh boy! Ooh. All right. G Ram, you there? I already, have it. Have I it. Already, Tia. I already know it. Do you want to? Do you want to fight me after G Ram? We should. Okay, I'll do it. I'll shoot G Ram. Oh, he. Oh, he's here. Awesome. I was about to say, if not, I will. I will shoot you. Click PM, but you're good. <laughs> Alright, G Ram, what is your weight class? Confident 75. Love it. Hmm. something really different for G Ram. Ready, ready. G Ram running, ooh boy, ooh boy, I am loving this, uh, this set, I'm curious to see how it'll play out. Oh my goodness, G Ram. Big Alpha. Ooh, and Carbon Fire, I actually thought that would have hit more, more, more CT, uh, Ooh, carbon fire is already open. Can't even twist that off, I don't think. GG's. Nice, GM. It's right. like the perfect counter pick. GG's. Now, very tough when the Niger is in the open like that and the Timberwolf gets to poke into it with impunity. Yep. Alrighty. Alright, G, G Ram, if you want to let me know what mech to play. I mean, not what mech to play, what mech you want.
Yes. Yes. Decide the weight class I want. Uh, let me go through my mix. G Ram wants the Warhammer for our loyalty bows. Perfect. I'm trying Good to pick. my mech, so if you could get that in, yeah. I need a seed little boost mech for this. Yes, you do. You go special hero max only. E build boosted annihilator. Heavies. Heavies, all right. What? Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I am running something off, uh, off meta, sorry. Warhammer 4L loyalty. Yeah, 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 I got that. Okay, cool, 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 yeah, sorry. I'll run something a little different. Hit it, Mr. Shoutcaster. Strong mech from our master. It's a classic Ilya Muromets. You can't see it on the streamer, unfortunately. Tios is a streamer, but. You just told him my mech? I am in a Crusader 3R. <laughs> yes, and Tios is in. That's not yeah. a bad build. That's like the upgraded version of the LB Tennis from Bushwhacker. Oh, yeah. It's not bad at all. Uh, the. Uh... The biggest issue is that I don't know if this mech is excellent. It looks like it is. Bring me your crutato. Posting. Bit of overtrace from Chios. Oh, ammo explosion. Ammo crit. Nice. GG's, oh. GG's. <laughs> ammo was... explosion. All right. That's you. don't see that every day. No, you do not. Good, good. That, that killed him really fucking fast. <laughs> <laughs> Why ammo can't explosion. all you, 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 like, you like hit him with the... Uh, um, I barely, barely, you like opened, barely opened him? Yeah, you barely opened him. Then <laughs> and it just fucking blew up. In fact, uh, I'm gonna see. Do I have one or two teams of ammo in the in the CT? Because I feel like a single ammo explosion. I I I think you had to crit both of them. I I don't know what the math is on it, but I'm told it's pretty hard to crit like <laughs> right on opening. Alrighty, I'm gonna check how much ammo this has. However, thank you so much to uh, everybody who watched. I I am glad you got to see that uh, that 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 weird ammo explosion there at the end. I have two tons of SRM. I'm just gonna move those out of the CT so that never occurs again. Uh, thank you so much to everybody who watched. I hope you all had a had a phenomenal time either either viewing or playing. I don't have the set date for the next challenge yet. However, I believe our next master will be Stimrog of EMP. I believe he has already agreed to do it. So, thank you to everybody who viewed. I I hope you all had a wonderful time and have a great evening. And of course, and, and of course, thanks thank everybody for watching. Yep. Thank you to Bows and and Carbon for 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 joining me. 
part. Thank you. Bye. Thanks.